Hello everyone, Tough Monkey here again, hope you're all well. Now, good news, iOS 14.5 has landed, which not only means can you still connect your DualShock controller to your iPad or iPhone, you can now connect your DualSense controller to your iPad or iPhone. How do you go about doing that? I'll show you. Right, go to your settings on your chosen device, go to uh, Bluetooth, uh, that'll list all your Bluetooth devices, then you need to press your PlayStation button, PS button, and the share button together until you get a blue flashing light. Bear with. There we go, it is now flashing. That means it is in uh, pairing mode. There you go, DualSense wireless controller. Click on that. And we are now connected with this controller. So let's go to the streetcar app. And if you click on the settings in the bottom left corner, you can see that the controller is there. And we'll make sure it shows up in the game. And there it is, you're ready to roll. Okay, so you're all connected with your DualSense controller or your DualShock. Uh, there is one extra bonus feature on iOS 14.5. If you go to your general settings, you'll see there is an option for game controller. In there, you'll see that there is a few more options in there, such as uh, identifying controller, which for some reason makes, you, it, uh, makes the haptic thing buzz on there, and also customization. And this is the best bit. You can redefine your keys for whatever you want them to be, which is quite useful. Anyway, have a play. See what you think. Off you go. See you next time.